Okay, so basically I just want to do a video on Pyro and how you can cure your dog at home. So yeah, this did work for me and I hope that it can work for a lot of you out there also. So the Parvo virus is mainly affected in dogs. It is highly contagious and can spread from dog to dog by direct or indirect contact with their feces. Vaccines can prevent this infection, but mortality can reach 91% in untreated cases. So if you leave it untreated, 91% of dogs die. So recently we got two dogs. We got a puppy which her name was Cassia and we got Athena. We did have a friend's dog over. He had a situation where we had to bring his dogs over to the house. We were taking care of them um, for a couple days. So after a couple days, Cassia, the puppy, she got very sick. She wasn't drinking any liquid. She stopped eating. Um, she also started to have diarrhea and she was puking. And that's something that our friend's puppy had died from. Oh yeah, most likely he contracted the virus from his dogs. She was not vaccinated yet because we had barely purchased her and the bigger dog, Athena, well, she is already vaccinated. Anyway, long story short, Cassia got sick from Parvo. We took her to the vet. Basically, she told us if we did not hospitalize Cassia, she was going to die. So that's exactly what we did. We hospitalized her. Um, she was there for about three days and unfortunately she still did not make it like two days later Athena got really sick she wasn't drinking any liquid she wasn't eating any food so we basically already knew what was wrong with her so another thing I want to point out is dogs can still get the parvovirus even if they are vaccinated and hospitalization can be very very expensive so if you notice that your dogs have the same symptoms you want to try and get them treated immediately because they can die within three to four days so yeah i did some research i was looking at videos on youtube and i came across this video and i seen this guy talking about paxin and vibactra paxin is a unique blend of herbs developed in 1997 to help your dog overcome parvo this completely organic formulation contains four antimicrobials that actually work against the parvo virus to help your dog overcome the disease. Paxin also contains two herbs that helps build your dog's body and immune system. Unfortunately, we did not know about Paxin. Um, with Cassia, we just took her to the vet. And I don't understand why vets don't carry Paxin or Vibactra if it really, really works, but yeah. So this is day two um, that Athena doesn't want to eat any water, I mean drink any water, eat any type of foods. Well, we're forcing her. So she's getting treated by us even though she doesn't want to. She just wants to lay down and she really has no energy. Yeah. Mm, Kratos been good so far. He's the strongest one from all. He has no That's why you're the crowd of more. Dina. Kratos? main main thing you guys are going to need is Pedialyte to keep your dogs hydrated until you guys get the medicine. You guys will also need a syringe. And another thing you guys want to make sure that the Pedialyte is unflavored. We also purchased these vitamins from Walmart for $10 and we've been trying to give for at least one a day. And what we've been doing is we'll crush it in a container and we'll mix it with the Pedialyte. And since she is a bigger dog, we've been trying to give her this full liter a day so we'll give her about four full syringes every hour just to keep her hydrated so the paxin and vibactra can be found on amazon and you guys want to make sure you you do the two day shipping that way you guys get it immediately if for any reason you can't afford both um i recommend getting just the paxin and that is 36 dollars 
Alrighty, so Athena's been sick since Monday. Today is Thursday and I did receive the treatment, so I'm going to start giving it to her immediately and we'll see how it goes. So, I'm going to show you guys how I do this. Depending how much your dog weighs is how much you're going to give them. All the instructions are going to be here in the box. I'm also going to get the right back chair ready and I'm just going to give them to her both at the same time. And I'm also going to give her a little bit more Pedialyte. Not yet. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, this is after giving her almost the last dosage. She just needs one more and she's going to eat. Damn, you go, girl. Go with Daniels. Go with Daniels. So much better, mommies. She didn't want dog food, but she's accepting noodles, so better than nothing. Good moments, you want some more? Okay. So also I want to tell you guys that um, the vet did tell us that the parvo virus can stay in your house for a very very long time for up to years so you guys want to try and clean every single thing in your house the dogs beds toys um, bowls try and clean everything in your house with Clorox also me and my brother we um, sprayed the whole entire yard with water and Clorox we sprayed everything with spray bottles so yeah that's something that you guys also want to do so future dogs and puppies that you have does not contract the virus also so yes I hope this video is very helpful for you guys I hope you guys can save your dogs and thank you so much for watching if you guys know anybody whose dog has parvo I would share this video with them but I hope this can help many of you out there if you feel like your dog has parvo i would recommend this 100 percent hey dinas so this is her after drinking the paxin and the vibatra and cradle so yeah this is athena i'm gonna give her some carne here kratos she's hella eating now here, 